Go. Hi, my name is Mike Roden. I'm the director of sales for Turning Concepts. Uh, we're going to start a series of rolling tool talks, tool tips. And today's tool tip of the day is going to be thread roll management. So this is a typical set of rolls from Fetty. You'll see there's three of them. There's two sides. There's a numerical side. There's an alpha character side. One, two, three, A, B, C. And you get to use rolls on both sides. So here's a, uh, an F2, number two size, set up with a half 13, I believe, or five eighths. And you have three sets of rolls. You take them out, and you'll see that they're number one, two, three. And then uh, your second side of rolls, notice that number one becomes A, number two becomes C, and number three becomes B. The reason is the majority of the load for the material displacement occurs on roll number B. So you want to load them clockwise in sequence, and then you put your faceplate on, and that's all there is to it. Now the question becomes, how do you manage the life? So you have three sets of rolls. This is a common problem that we see regularly on our service desk where the rolls break. These happen to be uh, titanium coated for extra life, but we have the same problem. And two things happen, either they're loaded improperly or there's a, uh, uh, a turning tool that fails prior to the roll. Now these rolls are used rolls, um, and you'll, you'll see that there's certain wear patterns that are generated from heat. And now the new the new rolls from Fetty come with this nice bronze coating. And the coating will actually uh, distort from heat. So what you want to do is you want to look for a black edge on one of the first two or three pitches on a set of the rolls and then you change them. And, and flip them I should say. And then save your rolls, zip tie them together, put a tag on there that tells you how many parts that you made with them. And then the next time you run the job, you'll be able to uh, change them at about 80% of the life. And it's always best practices to set a parts counter or a conditional branching statement with either custom macro B or with user test tool or whatever your machine tool builder makes available for you. Uh, thank you for your time. And we're going to do a series of these uh, rolling tip videos. Hopefully, you'll be able to share them with your machinists and we'll be able to save you a little bit of money.